so excited. I have been waiting forever to do a reconnect with rockers with the ladies from the morning. I have Daniela, Paulina, and Alejandra. First of all, you ladies look amazing. You're on the road. So I thank you so much for doing this with me from on. Now, where are you guys today? Well, hi everyone. We're doing, uh, wait, where are we? This is the touring life. We're in where Connecticut. We? We're in Bridgeport, Bridge. Connecticut. Oh, you're not that far from us though. Okay. So you're yes. literally like I could throw a giant rock. And so you guys are getting all this heat that we're getting too. It's hot. Yes, it is it's really hot. It's, it's Mexico hot. It's, it's Mexico good. hot. Well, yes. the sisters from Monterey. Now here, I wanted to talk to you. When I first saw you guys, I wanted to talk to you about this. I called you guys, and I, me I say this lovingly, I called you the Metallica Metal Munchkins because it was 2014, <laughs> and you guys were, I mean, we're talking eight years ago. You yeah. ladies are young ladies now. So eight years ago, I saw the kids. So I get this, like, YouTube link that someone sends me, and the thing, here's the thing that struck me, and I'm going to say, was it, was it Alejandra that had the little sandals on? Yes. yes. That was <laughs> okay. And Daniela, you're totally barefoot. And I'm like, look at these girls. So I wanted to talk to you about who gave you the Metallica bug. Was it a family member? Because, you know, you don't necessarily think of little girls sort of searching out and finding Metallica. So how did you first hear Metallica? And how did you guys know that you were talented enough to jump in and start rock and enter Sandman? Well, all of the rock music that we grew up with came from the the love of music of my dad, mostly. Um, so we really got into playing and we didn't play together at first. So when we decided to, to play together, we were just like, okay, so what are our favorite songs? Let's just try and play those. Uh, we didn't actually think like, can we, can we not? We just like, let's try it out. Cause it was all like uh, for fun. And uh, yes, that's how we ended up doing most of the covers that we did at that time. And Enter Salmon was so fun to do it. I remember practicing my angry face. I was just like, I need yeah, I to that. like look tough. <laughs> And, then I will and you did. You did. You were so into it. You can't fake that. You right. cannot fake that. You've got to feel that. You are yeah. feeling that. And it's so evident in the video, which has like now like 25 million views. I mean, it's crazy. And I love seeing, I think it's very brilliant that young artists are using YouTube to really show their chops and to show what they've got. Because sometimes in a studio, people would say, oh, anybody can do that, blah, 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 blah. So you guys are doing our Rock the Park, Bill. We are so excited to have you on the 28th at the PNC Bank Arts Center. You're coming to Jersey. Jersey, Jersey are rockers. We're loving your record. Error is your third. Talk to me about putting this record together, an important one for you guys, too. Because, yes. uh, you know, people hear, people hear a single, people see a band on YouTube. Now they want a record, and they want to know that this is the real deal. So talk to me about putting this record together and working with David Bendith who I think was very important for you guys. And it's very difficult for women to find a great producer because sometimes producers want to change everything about you. <laughs> yes, no. Um, well, our new album is out now. It's called Error. And we worked on it mid-pandemic. I think that was like a very big uh, challenge that we kind of like over overcame during all that time. And yes, working with David Bendit was, was absolutely amazing. Amazing. Uh, it, was really nice. it was really nice, and of course, we did not. Uh, we really liked his input from you know a lot of like he's a legend. He knows so much, and we learned so much from him. But we also had our vision, so we like kind of like compromised on what was going to and work. Honestly, on the other. Um, we have this fantastic tool of speaking two languages. So anytime <laughs> David would say something, I was like, you know what? We'll discuss it in Spanish. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. So you're like, okay, break, break. Bilingual break here. And the girls and the and the girls are getting together. Oh, that is brilliant. Brilliant. Yes, man. It, was, we it worked so well. It was, it has been the longest time we have been away from home. We went to New Jersey. Yeah, yes, so New Jersey there. is our home away, away from, from home. home. Yeah, Literally. we stayed there for three months recording this album. Which is insane. And we came back. I didn't know. Now, where did you guys record? Okay, oh, so man. since it was mid-pandemic, and we had to record at various studios because none of them were open. That but you were long. by us in Jersey. 
Yes, we we could have put you up on the station couch. I would have made everything great for you guys. We have a beautiful kitchen. Holy mo! Oh, see, oh, next time if this happens, you got to hit me up because I will take care of the girls. Of course. Of course. Yeah, New Jersey course. was awesome. It was oh, awesome. Oh, great. Was it, was it Clifton most of the time? Was it Clifton? Yeah. Yeah, Clifton. Yeah, Clifton. Awesome. Oh, Clifton, New Jersey. Oh, how did I not know that? How did I not know this? Now, talk to me about songs and songwriting. Because what I love about this record is, first of all, sonically, I think it's just perfect. It's everything that we wanted this record to be. When did you guys know not only that you were, you know, proficient musicians and, and great singers, um, when did you know that you could write songs also? And how did that come about? We started writing, ah, trying to put a year to it. Because honestly, yeah. everything just blends in together. But we were pretty young uh, it was after, like, the Metallica cover did really well. We had this teacher who was Alice bass teacher, but he also showed us, like, musicianship and music theory yeah. to the three of us. And he was like, you know what? You guys should start trying to write. Like, just sit down and... Yeah, experiment and It was, like, it. homework. Like, we had to sit down and write a song. <laughs> and once we started doing those little tasks... There was like, no going really back! fell in love with it. It was a moment where we were, like... Okay, so we really want to do this with our lives. We want to write our own music and release it. But at that time, I was 12, 13. Yeah. It was one of those two. So we were pretty young. And um, from that point forward, it was just like, oh, our craft, our music. Yeah, and we're just trying to find new ways of getting uh, these feelings and sounds across from different experiences, different ways to kind of, like, make it bigger. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you can hear that. You can hear that in the songs. I mean, the, the record is like one goes into the next, goes into the next. I love the title track. That's anthemic. Talk to me about the tour, too, because I first talked to you, talked about you, I'm sorry, with Lizzie Hale. Because we talked at the beginning of when this tour got announced, and she said, we've got to bring these ladies from The Warning out. Because I interviewed them, I fell in love with them, I fell in love with their music. So what has it been like being on this incredible bill with Lizzie and Taylor? Lilith is phenomenal. She's yes. such a freaking rock star. I love her. So what has it been like being on kind of this, this really amazing, powerful tour? It's, it's surreal, been, it's really honestly. Amazing. And let me just say, every single person on each and every team is the nicest person ever. Everyone is so, Everyone Everyone is is so really nice. kind and nice and welcoming. Yeah, I mean, it can be kind of scary as an up and coming band to enter into these really like. They um, have it down. Everyone's yeah. so professional. They and, know what they're doing, yes. and we're just like, so okay, very wait. established tours. People are very like organized, and there's a system for everything. So coming in here. Everyone's just so welcoming yes. and everyone's really hardworking and we all work really nicely as a team and I feel like everybody's very understanding and just really supportive overall. And we've been having a great time. We've been rocking out and we got in to see the shows. Uh, everyone's amazing. Yesterday in, was it Boston? It was Lizzie Boston. gave a shout out to us in Spanish. I saw that on your Facebook page. I saw that on your social media sites. It was so awesome. Is she like the nicest person? Isn't she just like the sweetest? She's the sweetest. She's the sweetest. We love her. People ask me that all the time. They're like, is Lizzie Hale is nice? And I'm like, no, she's actually nicer. Like, yeah. she, like, she's actually nicer. She will just go out of her way to just be nice to people. She's so incredible. So incredible. So I want to talk a little bit about the song that uh, is now the single, which is Money, mm -hmm. which is such a cool vibe for this song. Talk to me a little bit about the inspiration for that tune. Okay, so money is a song that is like an observation, a critique on greed and corruption and just how nowadays everything is sold for a certain price. And we're talking about like survival at, at the end of the day and how things are being really thrown away for everybody else just so people could get more money and more power. So that's what the song is about. And uh, when we wrote it, it, I feel like it was one of the hardest songs for us to write, like instrument, instrument wise, like yeah. arrangement wise, we went over it so times. many times, <laughs> like we got sick of it at one point, but now when we play it live, I just remember it's so like, fun. all that process and it's just so satisfying. Yes. To, to play it and to see people react to it because it's a very energetic, fun song. It's a battle cry. It's a battle cry song. It's perfect. I think the songs on the record are custom made for live performance. 
Yes. Which is brilliant because I think the sets are so amazing. I mean, everybody said that you're killing it on the tour. I asked listeners, because I knew I'd be talking to you guys, to give me, you know, some things that they noticed about the warning. And I heard electrifying, fearless, defining, which I thought was very interesting. But I, I love that, you know. And these were, I think they were like three quotes from men. You know, not necessarily just women, you know, saying that you're fearless. So I love, love, love that. And uh, yeah, these are all battle cry songs and just great live. And I'm encouraging everybody to make sure coming out to the show at the PNC Bank Art Center, get there early because it's so, we have such amazing openers on the bill, Lilith, then you guys, that I don't want anybody to miss sort of a moment of this magic. So, you know, you can t get there early to tailgate. You want to tailgate, get there early to tailgate, but yeah. get into the venue to check out all of this amazing music. Now, I also wanted to ask you, ladies, is there something magical, do you feel, about siblings playing together that we necessarily don't get you know, and, and look, it, it can be good or bad, you know, because you got the Robinson brothers were enemies and then they're friends. And then you've got the Gallagher brothers and but you've got Lizzie and RJ and the Van Halen brothers were always such a united front and um, Angus and Malcolm. You know, it's always such an interesting, I think, sort of dynamic when you've got families playing together. So talk to me about the dynamic with you guys. We what? hate each other. Yes. We oh, my God. We can't stand each other. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's all oh over. My. <laughs> No, we get along great. We're best and, friends, literally. But, like, I don't know how to describe it. And we get along great off stage and, like, and while we're working as well and everything. But when we're playing live, it's just a really cool connection that we have. It's so weird. really strange to explain. But I feel so connected to them. Like, I can just look at them and I know exactly what they're thinking. There's a little bit feeling. of telepathy going yes. on. I this supernatural communication. <laughs> and it's just really, really, really fun. To play with them, yeah. I think there has to be there when you're playing with somebody that you've been playing with since you're in the single digits of age, you know, yeah. which not everybody gets that in a band. There has to be a little telepathy, and of course, there's sort of this genetic telepathy that you guys have that people don't have, and 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 you can you can really feel that you guys killed it in New York City, and we're so excited to see you in New Jersey. You guys are going to be at WDHA's Rock the Park. Make sure you get there early for the warning tickets. By the way, Ticketmaster.com, and I am so excited that you ladies joined me. Thank you so much. This has been a dream come true for me because it's uh, I'm I'm a I'm fan girl. I'm a fan girl. So it's so nice to be able to see uh, women carrying the torch for hard rock music. And what I love about this tour. Hailstorm doesn't sound like the warning. The warning doesn't sound like Lilith. Uh, Lilith doesn't sound like the pretty reckless. We've just got this great, great um, tribe of women that are carrying the torch for hard rock and everybody kind of doing their own thing. And I love it. So ladies, thank you so much. No, thank, thank you for having you. us and yes. for being a part of this and just sharing our music. Thank like you this. so much for the support. So Keep it's rocking. awesome. Yeah. Yay! DHA's Reconnect with Rockers is powered by Karis Lock Company, your full-service locksmith, and Dover Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram on Route 46 in Rockaway. <laughs>